hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to validate the jQuery date picker and we got our controls the from date and to date I'm selecting from date and here we got our calendar control the today's date is February 2nd 2018 I'm choosing today's date Whatever the dates below 2nd February, the dates will be disabled. Notice here, the 1, 2 is disabled as well as the months also. So I am choosing 3rd. I am using Notepad++ for this example and in this Notepad++ contains a simple HTML5 code with header tags h1 and h2 and one horizontal line so before adding the calendar controls and jquery script let's save this file we'll check the output how it looks the designing part on the browser and this is the output of that code which contains the header tags h1 and h2 and horizontal line let's switch over to the notepad plus plus we'll write the jquery script to validate the dates the from date is less than to date. From date, I'm adding input control id is equals to text from style is equals to text align center. Let's copy this. Instead of from date, I'm adding to date. The input ID text 2. After adding the controls, now between the header section, I am adding the latest jQuery CDN links. Let's visit the Google. Now in the Google search, Ajax latest CDN Google developers. Enter and choose the developers.google.com click that one in the google hosted libraries in the contents click the jquery and notice the jquery snippet i am using 3.3.1 let's copy this i'm pasting the link and we require the two more cdn links one is the jquery ui and the jquery theme after adding the jQuery, we need the jQuery UI also. Click that one. And we need to add these both links. One is the CSS theme and other one is the UI, user interface. Copy that one. Again switch back to the Notepad++. I'm pasting here. After adding the jQuery script and theme, Script. Closing the script. Dollar function dollar. Now in this function, I'm adding the text from ID between double quotes as dot date picker now here the function when I click the select it displays a calendar control but I want to display the number of months only one so if you want you can increase also number of months column one and when I select the date, I want to the date format, date format colon between single quotes, capital DD, small d, space, capital M, comma, small y. This is the date format I want to display when I select the date in the input control. 
we'll check the results on the browser what the date format looks like now up to here we are getting the date in the text box control from date now here I'm writing the script on select function the to date is always greater than the from date so the script is on select on s capital function select date variable dt is equal to new date now in this date I'm adding the select date dt dot set date I'm setting the date with get date method get date method is plus one plus one between double quotes I'm adding text to hash dot date picker it will take three parameters the first one is the option the second one is the minimum date and the third one is the date dt the variable so let's copy this one paste here instead of plus one this minus one the text from is text to this is text from the last one is the maximum date instead of minimum date we need to add the max date dt that's it let's save this file we'll check the results on the browser I'm reloading this browser and we got our controls the from date and to date I'm selecting from date and here we got our calendar control the today's date is February 2nd 2018 I'm choosing today's date whatever the dates below 2nd February the dates will be disabled notice here the one two is disabled as well as a month also so I'm choosing third that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos